So we are joined here in our virtual studio by Paolo Riguto, a partner at Reach UK. So Paolo, thanks so much for joining us today. And um, I'll kick off with your very first question. So can you tell us about Second Century Ventures and Reach UK as well, please? Yeah, definitely. First of all, thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to be here. So I'm Paolo. I'm a partner at Reach UK. Reach UK is the sort of foremost technology transfer program for real estate technology. And we are actually part of the National Association of Realtors, which is the world's largest trade body, 1.7 million members globally. Um, so we are, you know, by agents for agents is how we view ourselves. And we are there to provide the best tech tools for any practitioner in any vertical in the market. And what that really means is having a meaningful impact on how someone works, right? So as an agent, what solutions are there that will make your job easier, faster, generate more leads and get you more business? And so I'm a partner in the UK, but we also have a similar program in Australia, Canada, and the US. Um, and we don't just focus on transferring technology to the industry. We also so focus on long-term support. So what we don't want to do is back solutions that disappear in a year from now. Um, so we pick the best solutions, those that have the most impact and those that have the longevity. Uh, and we do so through an ecosystem of agents and other institutions on the ground. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for, for that answer. Um, what Can you tell us what you look for in PropTech as a company and also about how startups and scale-ups can, can get your backing? Yeah, so it's a, that's a great question. So what, what we look for, as I mentioned, is we really focus on the transfer part to, to the industry, right? So we need um, we need company startups that obviously have really, really strong solutions that have what we call product market fit. So they have to already be selling into, for instance, agents. We need to have proof that they can both sell and that they have a product that is worthwhile to invest in. You know, if you think about an agent taking time out of their really busy day to talk to a tech provider, they need to ensure that this is not a short-term decision, but a long-term partnership. So it's really important for us that, you know, we have companies who want to grow in the UK, um, have financial backing to do so, have long-term capital requirements, and are really a competitive advantage, right? So something that makes it unique and makes it special and that can add true value to the bottom line for, for an agent. Um, and so we built up an ecosystem in the UK. So we have, um, we, are, we are major events like EA Masters, thankfully. We sponsor other events. We also work with uh, agents on the ground with, uh, you know, Property Marks, a partner of ours. And so what we look for in startups and startups that come into our ecosystem full of energy and just roll out as quickly as possible and also be open to feedback from the industry. Because what we're aware of is, you know, every agent is now receiving probably 15 startups every single week asking them for feedback. What we want to ensure is that the value goes both ways, so that our agent community can also influence the tools that are coming their way rather than it just being pushed upon them. So it's definitely got that, that element of communication between, between the two of you as well. Yeah. Um, now, you mentioned that obviously you engage with the property industry and this is exciting because it's your first year here with us at the EA, EA Masters. So can you tell us what's the value for estate agents and other property professionals to work and engage with REACH and with Second Century Ventures? Yeah, so we, we think that the biggest value comes from um, what we call a sort of a vetted pool of technology solutions, right? So in the US, they call it right tools right now. And I think that works really well in the sense of um, the way, to, way it works is every year we select about 10 of the best startups. Uh, these are across the value chain. So it's, you know, it's everything from lead generation for agents, but we also have circular economy, sustainability startups. Those are focused on more commercial clients. But these are vetted. So we go through quite a lengthy process, which not only includes our UK team, but also our international teams at NAR in the US to ensure that we back the best startups. And so once we have the startups, we truly believe that these are the best, you know, the, the cream of the crop. And that if you're an agent, rather than trying to figure out which startup or which technology solution is the best, we now have a pool. Now, all our companies tend to be quite a bit bigger, a bit more set. Uh, you know, these are not early stage startups in a garage, right? They tend to be uh, mostly international companies, multiple offices, et cetera, et cetera. So we think at that point, an agent now doesn't have to worry about going through 50 different solutions who all largely provide something similar with a little bit tangential they can select but also what's important to us is that you know to your point around things us sponsoring a masters and you know being part of this community is extremely important because we want community feedback um and so a tech curious agent who wants both to understand better what technologies are out there but also to influence the path of some of these providers 
that's extremely valuable to us and to, for us to be able to foster agents working together which is why, for instance, we will we have different ways of engaging with the ecosystem. We have a mentorship program where, as an agent, you would come on, probably talk to one startup a month uh, for about half the year. You would give feedback to them. You would learn more about the technology. But we also do expert panels. So we held one last year, which had 40 agents on it, and it was roundtable sessions. Typically, these even have networking drinks afterwards. So we try our best to give the industry a voice when it comes to technology, because right now it feels like that is somewhat lacking. And given our NAR background, we're in a very good position to do so. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for covering so much in sh such a short space of time. Now, as, as I mentioned before, with it being your first time uh, with us at the EA Masters next week, can you tell us what you're, what you're most looking forward to about the event? I hear the party is very good afterwards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so what we're looking forward to is look, this is this is the biggest event of the year. Uh, we unfortunately missed it last year because because of, of timing, but it's a it's a massive event. I think uh, all our relevant agent startups are going to be there. So I think you know this is going to be a great and some of our alumni from last year as well. So it is a great opportunity to see them in action. Um, but it's also more so for us. It's effectively to meet as many people at the event as possible from the agent community. Um, those that are both like-minded and not, and to understand better, you know, how we can serve the community better. Um, yeah. It's going to be great to also see other tech providers that will be there, right? Like this is important. We are, we've just opened up applications for next year's program. Um, so always looking out for startups. Um, but I think as a, as an event, uh, the, you know, the quality of agents that come to this event is massive, right? That's undisputed. Yeah, well, obviously, as you mentioned before, you know, you're all about the cream of the crop, the best of the best. And that's exactly the same with us at the Year Masters. So I'm sure it's going to be a great partnership. And um, Paolo, thanks so much for your time today. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.